Now, as you guys can see, I have a total of five slots. But right now, what I'm going to do is just simply get rid of it. And then I'm going to show you guys how to get five slots. As we take a look at the map, just watch what I do. Okay, so we're going to come over here and we're going to get rid of this because we're actually going to pick a new location. So as you can see, I still got gas, power, and electricity. And water running throughout my base now let's get started on these other things so what we're doing right now is we're actually claiming a health outpost and just continuously upgrade it until you reach all the way to the third tier basically and as you can see i'm over on the yeah, second tier but we're going to upgrade it once again yes it does cost a thousand influence but this is just to get more and more usefulness out of it and as you can see now i have power gas water and health coming in and you can just simply do this over and over with some of these bases you guys so a great tip on doing your outposts is actually spreading your outposts throughout the map what you want to do is wherever your base is you want to make sure you have a outpost of something useful by your base and also if you have four slots what you want to do is you want to put one at the very top of the map so if you have to go to the top of the map for anything such as an infestation, plague hearts, um, you know, you got a group of survivors up there. What you want to do is have an outpost up there so you can deposit all of your things. And the same thing goes for the other um, areas of the map, you know, north, south, east, west. Place a outpost on each area of the map place one at the top the bottom the left and the right and make sure the outpost that you have is very useful as you have seen with my outpost i have power to supply my base i have water to supply my base not only that i have food to supply my base and gas to supply my base and you want to can you want to upgrade your outpost to the highest tier that you can get it which is tier three because once you do tier three basically it will all go full circle and in order to have power to your base when you're using your outpost it requires you know it requires gas so if you have a gas outpost it's just going to continuously continuously filling up you know your power gas to supply your people your community it builds morale you have food coming in guys it cannot be any more easier than this please spread out your outposts and make sure you have outposts coming in another useful tip that i want to give you guys is never have your outposts cluttered around your base as it does not help because if you don't spread out your outposts and all of your outposts are surrounding your out. base the problem is when you are all over the map let's say you need health gas food or anything to help you out your hurt your damage well how are you going to get to your base if you're sitting over here on the verge of dying you're hurt you need to do this this and this well, now you got to drive all the way back down to where your base is and deliver, you know, all of these things. And as you can see on the map, I'm literally heading all the way up here to go take care of a play card. But also the good news about where I am going is I have a outpost not too far from the play card. As you can see, this is my outpost right here that I'm passing up. It is the fire station. And the plague heart itself is not careful. too far from my outpost. So I can just simply 
drop things in my trunk, run it back to my outpost, run it back here as, look, it is not that far. Guys, so now what we have going on right here is now we got a very nasty situation because the curveball has literally gave us the power to drop a play card very quickly and very easily, making the play cards very weak. And I'm gonna show you guys what I mean by when I say I can just simply come in, raid, and not only come in and raid you guys, but I can also just simply go drop it off right at my crazy, crazy outpost that is not too far. So which means I could just go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth as a prime example of something you want to do but i'm just going to shut up and let you guys see this for yourselves And there you have it. There it is. Not too far. I have an outpost right here. I'm dropping off all of my things. Now, let me get down to the nitty gritty on how you get a extra slot for an outpost. Now, if you want an extra slot for your outpost, what you do is you go down to the command center and you will see that there is a antenna right there. That right there provides you with a extra slot. So when you are scavenging for things, guys, if you see one of those, place that on your command center and you will gain a extra slot. And there you have it. The best ways to do your outposts, the best locations for your outposts and how to gain one extra outpost you guys i hope you guys enjoyed it and please if you like this video give it a like give it a share leave a comment and hit that subscribe button down below as i'm going to be giving you guys more tips and tricks on how to survive in state of decay 2.